Think you know everything about ancient Egypt? Think again. Amidst the iconic pyramids and golden sands, fresh secrets are unearthed every day, leaving even the sharpest minds in awe. Buckle up, because we're about to take you on a whirlwind tour of eight jaw-dropping discoveries that didn't just excite scientists, they left them downright gobsmacked. Ready for an Egyptian roller coaster? Let's go. Number one, treasure chest of Thutmose II. Picture this. Archaeologists are combing through Der El Bahari, every step echoing with the whispers of ancient tales. And bam, they find what can only be described as a scene straight out of an adventure novel, an ancient stone chest, aged about 3,500 years. Just let that sink in for a moment, 3,500 years. Now this chest, sneaky as it was, looked no different from the surrounding stones. It was a master of disguise, even fooling those who've dedicated their lives to ancient secrets. But, as the saying goes, appearances can be deceiving. A closer inspection revealed it was no ordinary stone. Within this ancient relic were mysterious packages wrapped meticulously in linen, much like treasured gifts you'd find under a Christmas tree. The first bundle? The skeleton of a goose. Now that's not something you see every day. The next had a goose egg. But the plot thickens. The chest also had a wooden box, which potentially contained an egg from an ibis bird. That's ancient Egyptian mystery at its best. Just as the team was catching its collective breath, Another surprise lurked in the shadows, a folded bundle, hiding its own secret. Within was a wooden box, shaped intriguingly like a chapel, bearing the name of none other than Pharaoh Thutmose II. But here's the twist. Professor Anders Anovinsky, the lead archaeologist, had some riveting tea to spill. This find hinted at something monumental, the possible location of an untouched royal tomb. Now let's dish a little historical gossip. Pharaoh Thutmose II, when Queen Hatshepsut, his famous wife, had a relationship that could have been a blockbuster, not your typical fairy tale romance, especially with all the political intrigue swirling around. Tragically, the young pharaoh met his end at just 16. Can you imagine the secrets waiting to be uncovered about this young ruler and the turbulent times he lived in? Stay tuned as the tale unfolds. And hey, if you're loving this journey so far, maybe, just maybe, consider sharing this mystery with friends. Number two, Seraphim of Saqqara. Imagine stumbling upon a mysterious sight with 24 gargantuan sarcophagi, each tipping the scale at a whopping 70 tons. That's the reality researchers faced when they rediscovered the Serapion back in 1850. And let's be real, it's been giving archaeologists the ultimate brain tease ever since. Now, when you look at these massive stone coffins, it's hard not to wonder, how on earth did ancient folks move these bad boys? The most accepted theory about the Serapion is that it served as a luxurious retirement home for sacred apis bulls. But wait a tick, something's off with that story. The size of these coffins is grander than any five-star suite the pharaohs had. It's like comparing a regular hotel room to the penthouse suite at a luxury resort. And the quality of the materials? Top tier. It's like they were crafting boxes for a VIP guest rather than mere bovine occupants. Speaking of the bulls, where are they? If this was truly the Ritz-Carlton for sacred bulls, Shouldn't there be some mummified evidence? The plot thickens. Some even speculate the Serapion wasn't just a burial site. Could it have been an ancient sanctuary? Or even wilder, a portal to connect civilizations? The riddles of the past are tantalizing, aren't they? What do you think? Was the Serapion a crypt for celestial cows or perhaps a doorway to another realm? Leave those brainy insights down below in the comments. And hey, if you figure it out, maybe there's a career in archaeology waiting for you. Number three, statues of pharaonic goddess Sekhmet. Ever hear the phrase, don't mess with mom's rules? Well, Sekhmet, the ancient Egyptian goddess, takes that to a whole new level. Picture this. Sekhmet, the lioness goddess and daughter of the sun god Ra, was once dispatched to earth with a single mission, wreak havoc on humanity for their audacity in ignoring Ra's rules. Kind of like when you sneakily broke curfew and thought mom wouldn't notice, but ten times scarier. Her wrath was boundless, and her thirst for blood was, to put it mildly, concerning. Now here's where things get juicy. Ra had some major regret sending his little lioness with such a task. But how do you stop a goddess with a taste for vengeance? The answer, deception. Ra tricked her into chugging beer tinted with pomegranate, leading her to believe she was sipping on, well, blood. After what was probably the wildest bender in history, Sekhmet snoozed for three whole days, waking up sans the thirst for human blood. Cheers to Ra's genius bar mixology. Switching gears, let's chat about an archaeological jackpot involving this very goddess. While restoring the Colossi of Memnon and King Amenhotep III's temple in Luxor, 
a project which kicked off in 1998, 66 statues of Sekhmet were uncovered. Talk about hidden treasures. The German archaeologists initially set out to find remnants of a wall, but they hit the statue jackpot instead. And these weren't just any statues. These were intricately detailed figures of Sekhmet, some seated and some standing with regal symbols of life, crafted from the breathtaking diorite rock. And if you think time would have eroded these statues' charm, think again. They are in pristine condition, like a perfectly preserved piece of cheesecake in the back of your fridge. These statues seem as if they were just waiting for the right moment to be unveiled. Their value isn't just in their beauty. They bridge us to the temple's history, surviving even a catastrophic earthquake from times long past. Can you feel the weight of history in these findings? And here's a little hint. The next video might just unravel more secrets of this temple. So, if you fancy diving deeper into this rabbit hole, maybe tell a friend to join the quest. Number 4. Electromagnetic Energy of the Great Pyramid of Giza Ever been to a magic show and thought, how'd they do that? Well, brace yourself, because today's tale is a cosmic magic show starring none other than the Great Pyramid. Researchers from ITMO University teamed up with the folks at Laser Zentrum Hanover to unravel the pyramid's electromagnetic mysteries. And trust me, it's like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. Peel your ears because here's the kicker. The Great Pyramid isn't just a grand tombstone. It's an ancient powerhouse, adept at storing and wielding electromagnetic energy. Think of it as nature's massive battery, ancient Tesla, anyone. But how did our modern-day wizards deduce this? Using resonant radio waves, yeah, they sound fancy because they are, they revealed that the pyramid, when hit by these waves, can focus energy in specific chambers like a sorcerer channeling power. Imagine throwing a pebble into a pond and watching the ripples. Similarly, when the pyramid interacts with these radio waves, the waves bend and reshape, much like light refracting in water. So in a nutshell, we've got this gigantic ancient structure, and when you toss some specific radio frequencies at it, it transforms them like turning lead into gold, but with radio waves. The ancient Egyptians weren't just constructing a majestic monument, they had a grand design in mind. And the more we learn, the more mind-blowing their achievements become. Makes you wonder, right? If they knew about this magic trick, what else did they have up their linen sleeves? Number 5. Tomb of the Silver Pharaoh all right, history buffs, here's a scenario for you. It's 1939. The world's on the brink of major changes, but in a quiet corner of northern Egypt, Pierre Monte is about to make a discovery that would shake the annals of history. Can you imagine casually digging, expecting the same old ancient artifacts, and then unearthing something so dazzling it puts the famous Tutankhamun's treasures to shame? This wasn't just any tomb. This was grandeur encapsulated a repository of unimaginable wealth, shimmering jewels, and treasures that would make even the most experienced archaeologists jaw drop. But wait, there's more. The real piece de resistance? A silver sarcophagus, glinting and gleaming, adorned with craftsmanship that would put the finest modern artisans to shame. This was the only silver sarcophagus ever found in ancient Egypt. Talk about exclusive. But every treasure has a tale. And the hieroglyphics on this one hinted at a story bigger than the treasures themselves. Enter Pharaoh Suzanne's one. But who was this dude? Why did he get the royal treatment with a silver crib for the afterlife? As researchers peeled back layers of sand and time, they found a narrative filled with drama, political intrigue, a missing city, and a pharaoh who managed to glue a nation falling apart. Hence his fancy nickname, the Silver Pharaoh. Now how's this for a cliffhanger? Ever wondered what other jaw-dropping tales and treasures are hidden beneath the sands of time, just waiting to be discovered? And how did Suzanne Wan, amidst all the chaos, earn such an opulent afterlife abode? Stick around for more in our next video. Remember, history isn't just about dates, it's about drama. Today's subscriber pick. All right, friends, buckle up, because today's pick is like opening Pandora's box Egyptian style. Picture this. Scientists, donning their Indiana Jones hats, combing Egypt's sands for new discoveries. But what they stumble upon isn't just any artifact. There, hidden from the world, was a tomb with a twist. Carved into its stone cover? An eerily alien-like figure. Yeah, you heard right. But here's where it gets juicier. Upon cracking this mysterious tomb open, it's empty. Zilch. Nada. This begs the questions, what was inside? Where did it go? Could we be staring at evidence of an ancient interstellar rendezvous? Did the pharaohs have some E.T. pals we didn't know about? Take a moment and let that sink in. And hey, we're all ears, or eyes, here. 
Drop your wildest theories about this enigmatic find in the comments. Do you believe in a cosmic connection, or is it just stellar speculation? Let's hear it. Number 6. Khufu's Secret Room Ever play hide-and-seek with a 4,500-year-old pyramid? Sounds crazy, right? Yet the Great Pyramid of Giza, after standing tall and proud for millennia, still plays this game with us. It's like that sneaky grandparent who always has one more hidden candy for you. The Scan Pyramids Project, using cosmic ray imaging and some pretty swanky infrared tech, stumbled upon a corridor, roughly 30 feet long, just lounging over the pyramid's grand entrance. Now you might be scratching your head, thinking, Cool, so what's it for? Imagine it as a tantalizing breadcrumb on a trail leading to even grander chambers within this ancient architectural marvel. The pyramid, folks, has always been that puzzle box no one can fully figure out. And just when you think you've got it, another secret chamber pops out like a jack-in-the-box. Speaking of mysteries, let's chat about the big brain behind this behemoth pharaoh Khufu. This guy, the kingpin of Egypt's old kingdom, essentially left behind the world's most cryptic 3D puzzle. Myths and whispers swirl around the life and intent behind Khufu's awe-inspiring project. With its intricate maze of chambers and hallways, researchers find themselves in a never-ending escape room, trying to decode its mysteries. As for the newly discovered corridor, some think it's an architectural feat designed to balance the pyramid's massive weight. While we're still piecing together its significance, one thing's crystal clear. These pyramids aren't just massive stone triangles in the desert. They're genius testaments to human innovation. And who knows? Maybe the next revelation is just around the corner or corridor. What do you think might be lurking in there? Another candy, perhaps? Number seven, meteorite jewelry. All right, fashionistas and space enthusiasts, merge your universes for this one. Picture this. It's 3,500 BCE, and you're rocking jewelry that's not just out of this world, but literally from another world. Talk about a statement piece. Recent discoveries have unveiled ancient jewelry. And no, they're not just any random rocks. These artifacts were crafted from meteorites. Yep, those same shooting stars we make wishes upon today. More than just cosmic bling, these space treasures, believed to have landed between 3,500 and 3,600 BCE, weren't just about turning heads at ancient soirees. They were also seen as amulets with mystical healing properties. And guess what? The nickel in these meteorites was believed to cleanse your blood. Wearing these wasn't just fashion forward, it was health forward. Dug up in 1911 near Cairo at the Gerza Cemetery, these meteorite beads predate Egypt's Iron Age. That means they're like the OG bling. How can researchers tell? Apart from their nickel richness, they showcase a unique crystal pattern exclusive to the meteorites from the early days of our solar system. Of course, every exciting discovery has its doubters. Some speculated that the nickel richness could be due to smelting, but evidence showed these beads were cold-worked, not heat-molded. Considering iron smelting in Egypt only began around the 6th century BC, these space jewels thrust us into a mesmerizing era where the vastness of the cosmos met the finesse of ancient artisans. So next time you wear your favorite accessory, just remember, our ancestors were rocking interstellar jewels way before it was cool. Got any other space fashion fusions in mind? Number eight, the ancient city of Alexandria. Okay, folks, time for a quick mental trip. Imagine walking through the bustling streets of modern Alexandria, but here's the twist. Right beneath your feet lies a treasure trove of history so rich it could make Indiana Jones consider a career change. First stop, the ancient cistern. This isn't just any old water supply system. We're talking three stories deep, echoing the grandeur of a bygone era. Think of it as the Notre Dame of water systems, built over a thousand years ago. It's a testament to ancient craftsmanship, repurposing pieces of old temples and churches. Who said recycling was a modern concept? But hold on to your hats. Alexandria wasn't just about its fancy waterworks. This was the Ivy League spot of the ancient world. We're talking about possibly the world's oldest university complex. And if walls could talk, these would speak of scholars and thinkers who once pondered the universe's greatest enigmas. But wait, there's more. Picture a massive 440-foot-high lighthouse. No, not the kind you find on postcards. This behemoth stood tall, guarding the Great Harbor for almost two millennia. Serving as both a guiding light and a symbol of might, its tales of bravado still light up our curious minds. Now here's a question for you. With all this history lurking beneath the surface, what other secrets might Alexandria be hiding? And wouldn't you love to unravel them? 
We have come to the end of eight new discoveries that almost scare scientists. Do you know of any other great discoveries? Do well to share your thoughts in the comments section below.